for me, painting is all about discovery and the excitement of this small journey because every painting is a new journey for me. When I look on a big blank canvas, I don't imagine what it will be. I don't do sketches, unlike Rubens, he always do oil sketches or just normal sketches. I don't like to do sketches because for me doing sketch for a painting is like knowing the outcome of this painting, so it becomes boring for me. Self-portrait is one of the most important subjects <laughs> in my work because I'm doing myself, I'm painting myself because I am very important to myself. When I paint a self-portrait, I don't think about my identities as an artist, as a mother. So Rubens did a lot of self-portrait and he described himself as a diplomat, not as an artist. Maybe that's how he wants to show himself. But me doing self-portraits, I'm not trying to show myself who I am or how I want people to see me. I don't care about this. With this painting, for example, it's a self-portrait with a skull. Death is part of our life, it's part of our daily life. When you leave a country, when you leave a person, this is in itself an act of death. So we live it every day. I love reality. So I used to go when I was young to the morgue to see uh, the dead body and to understand the, the muscles and everything. Like Rubens, uh, he painted the gray skin in a very obvious and strong way. He doesn't shy of it at all. Blood itself, the crimson red, is my favorite color. And it is representing life with its all contrasts. And I think in my work, you see a lot of contrast between thick layers, thin layers. Sometimes you see things as if it's painted on top of the painting, like there is another dimension. This contrast represents, I think, life and death itself. And when you accept death, uh, you enjoy your life.